Alrighty, well, good evening, everybody, and, um, I, um, in this, um, this video here is gonna be a tutorial on FX3's matchup and tournament system. Um, this is mainly for my, uh, Final Fantasy XIV blog, um, for all the, for all the people that read that who may not be familiar with this game, um, I'm often posting my, I'm often posting my goings-on on FX3, you know, Say, hey, I did great on such and such tournament. Hey, I did good on the matchups and all that stuff. Um, totally not even realizing that the people that uh, the people that read my blogs probably have no clue what I'm talking about. So, what I thought I'd go ahead and do is just go ahead and uh, do a bit of a tutorial video. Um, I'm gonna try to keep this quick, uh, but I'm just gonna try to explain like how how the matchups work, how the tournaments work, and stuff like that. That way, so. My readers can have a can have a better understanding of um of how this kind of thing works. So, but. oh, and I I do kind of need a sound test of this. Um, so I can you're gonna see the window kind of look a little funny. I gotta minimize it in order to make it easier for me to see. So I'm gonna go ahead and say close enough on that. Well, like I said, I gotta. This is FX3. It um the all the music and sound effects will shut off whenever I switch windows. So I have to kind of if I want to do a sound check on it, I have to change the window size so I can see the sound levels and stuff. But anyway, so to start with um the way matchups work. Um, it, it's on a, they work on a weekly basis, um, it's, a uh, four, four tables are chosen completely at random, so, and, um, the goal is, um, and sounds gotta shut off for a moment, I have to uh, look at something. Okay, so you can't see the cursor there. Excuse me. But anyway, um, but so in the goal, alien would, isolation. Like I'll pick this table here for example, alien isolation. Um, and you're given a choice between three different scores from three different people. Um, you can you can pick the uh, the easier green one, and uh, and you'll get a. Uh, You'll get, say, here in this case, 20 reward points. Um, the, the yellow one here, 30. This one here, 40. All of them with uh, correspondingly higher scores that you have to beat. And then, um, you can also choose which uh, which wizard power um, to unlock these. You have to. You had to have played. On a challenge mode on this particular table and you had to have uh, done good on that table in that particular mode like it, it says here unlock this wizard power by reaching five stars in one ball challenge so you have to basically you have to achieve a certain score um, same thing I've already unlocked this one here but you know you reach level five in the survival challenge that kind of thing and you could um, you could have passive upgrades. Um, I can't remember that up. I don't know if you have to actually have them equipped in order to level them up. I don't think you can, but I don't quote me on that. Each table features upgrades and wizard powers, which can be leveled up as you gain XP. So, like, okay, so it sounds like um. Wizard powers, you have to do, you have to do a specific challenge mode. Again, get at least five stars in that challenge mode, and then you'll unlock the wizard power. But the passive upgrades, um, you get them while leveling up, just by playing the table like normal. You know, every time you get the ball on the bumpers, you're getting XP and 
on the bumper there or the bumper upgrade and every time you get a combo you know you'll get x you'll get xp in that so um yeah i forgot what i was gonna say but here let's um let's go ahead and do one but typically i always swing for the fences i always go for the highest ranked one A welcome committee. And um, and if you can see in the upper right corner, all these all these matchups have a three minute time limit. You have to get as good a score as you can in three minutes. Now, in the last thirty seconds, all scores are doubled. And if you can see on the lower right corner here, um, the current wizard power that I have is is a score boost. As long as I have the uh, Y button pushed down, all my scores are doubled. So, sometimes it's to your benefit to wait until the very last 30 seconds. You know, when your scores are already doubled. And then use your wizard power, your score boost during that time. But, not always. Usually with me, it's a judgment call. So. Something is closing on you. And then, and then each table, Great. yeah, they're all, for the most part, it's hit this ramp or loop a bunch of times, and that'll start a mode. A lot of these tables follow that pattern. It's not safe here. Alert. And you can nudge the table, and now, in this, now I have to hit that closet where it says hide. Not gonna hit it. There we go. One more time. Oops, too late. So, alien's gonna come by and hit me. And when that happens, my uh, scoring multiplier you is might be in trouble. Ripley, are you okay? Sleep well. Got him. Just keep moving. Watch out for hostile activity. Enemies approaching your position. Eat this! You see those square off stand-up targets? Sleep well. Gotta take those off. And here's where I'm gonna use my score boost. Be a good time to hit that. Now would be a really good time to hit that. Oh. Nope, too late. Slow reflexes. Almost, oh, so close, so close to beating that. And um, whenever you, whenever you don't beat a score, um, you will actually lose league points. Um, as far as uh, they're they're, I guess they're kind of currency, even though you don't, you don't spend them on anything. So, but anyway, and if you look up here, um. 
stay in the top 35% to advance to the next league. The goal is you want to win enough, win, a, win enough matches to get you to get in the green here. That'll advance you to the next league. And I wonder. And then if you look here. It's you know, at rock bottom is bronze three, and then bronze two, bronze one, and then advances to silver, which is where I'm at. Silver three, two, one, and then gold three, two, one, and then it's diamond. I thought there was platinum in here, but apparently not. So, but anyway, that's how matchups work. Um, tournaments. Well, here's how I did on this one. Uh, took fifth place out of nine people. Eh, that's okay. But here you got a whole try. You got a whole bunch of different types of tournaments that you can enter. Um, if you look on the right column, highest score. That's again, that's the best score in that tournament. And um, these are all. And uh, at the top here, these are all the tournaments that I've entered. So win some, lose some. I'm ranked 7 out of 10 players. And eh, not so good. This one here, I'm ranked 3 out of 14 players. Oh, not so good there. Or no, no, it's pretty damn good. Excuse me. Same thing there. Ranked 2nd place out of 12 players. That's good. 12 out of 23. Eh. But again, if you're looking here... If you look at the rule, you know, five minute survival. Um, there's a lot more than that, but um, when I stream these, I tend to stick with these because uh, they're a good middle ground. I look at something real quick. Okay. They're a good middle ground between uh, longevity, you know, being able to play for a little while, but at the same time, I don't want to spend my entire pinball session playing one table. And that has happened before. So, so mine tend to be a five minute, which, as is obvious, you have um, get as be good a score as you can in five minutes. And survival, um, you have one minute, but um, every time you reach a target score, that one minute timer is refreshed. So, you know, so, but again, Rank three out of 22 players. That's really good. Five out of 14. Eh. Three out of 10. You know, so on and so forth. And, um, but like I said, there's many different types of tables on, or excuse me, there's many different types of tournaments on here. So, I can go, I can choose just the five minute ones. I can also go with uh, one ball. Uh, survival, uh, normal, that's just standard, you know, three balls, um, and you can use all your wizard powers and passive upgrades and all that. Uh, classic, they're all, they're all locked, you're locked out of them. Uh, tournament setup, that's when they, same thing, but that's when they raise the table, like, almost a 45 degree angle. And, and let's go ahead and choose one ball. Just to give you a little sample. And this here is get as good a score as you can in one ball. Uh, most of these I don't even bother with. I've said it before in other places. I'll say it here, but this game needs a replay feature. I mean, how the hell does somebody get 1.4 billion on one ball? I'd like to see that. Which one looks doable? Let's let's find one that I can do in one ball. Oh, they locked that one. Oh, I guess we'll go with Dr. Dude. And again, when you choose a table, um, all the options, all the things you can and can't do are shown in that list there on the left. Looks like I can't, I can't choose anything, so let's give that a go. And 
Now, I'm anticipating this being a short one. I mean, it's only one, I could, you know, it's only one ball. One ball mode, you don't want to lose control. Okay, I gotta do something real quick. I gotta I can hardly hear it from my end. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh I'm gonna go ahead and turn it up a bit. I'm wearing headphones, so not quite the best quality. Okay. So much for that. And I can't, um... It looks like I can... I have nine play attempts, so I could try this nine more times. But again, I'm just trying to demonstrate how the modes work. The whole purpose of this video. But I do, however. Let's see how well I did. Good. 13 out of 18, yeah, not very good. So, but but anyway, um, that's it for the video. That's I just wanted to show how all this worked. So Thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate that, and I'll see you all next time.